Hi there, good morning. Well, welcome. I want to say a big, big welcome to you this morning. It is lovely to have you here with me on this lovely morning. Well, I don't know about your family, but our family and our friends, um, we have some of them who love their food. They love um, preparing the food, deciding what we're going to have when we all get together. And then we have others where we're not really much bothered about food. You know, if they eat or they don't eat, it doesn't really make much difference to them. Um, and if we go on holiday with certain people, we, they will start thinking about what are we going to eat for breakfast, what we're having for lunch, and they get excited about it. Now, I know my brother is really, really good at this. Um, when we all get together as a family, we'll always say, Chad, what are you thinking? What should we be eating? Chad loves organizing what we're going to be eating, and, um, and he's really, really, really good at it. And then when the food's all out there and... Um, uh, all of us, you just can't wait to devour what's in front of you because Chad does such a good job with, with all the food. We we had a braai with him recently and um, he just did an amazing job with all the meat and everything was displayed lovely and everything just tasted so good. Well, there's a verse in Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16 and it says, When I discovered your words, I devoured them. They are my joy and my heart's delight. For I bear your name, O Lord God of heaven's armies. I love that. When I discovered your words, I devoured them. They are my joy and they are my heart's delight. You know, I love, love, love God's word. I've always loved reading the word of God. Even from a young age, I remember. I love spending time reading God's word. But you know, as I've got even older, I love it more. My husband and I, we have got the same love for God's word. Um, we will spend many a time just sitting and we'll speak about the word of God or we just get excited about reading the word. It's like you can't get enough of it. It's just lovely, lovely to be in God's word. Well, there's a scripture in Psalms 119 verse 130 and it says, as people understand your word, it brings light to their lives. Your word makes even simple people wise. <laughs> I love that. Even us, the unwise, God makes wise as we spend time in his word. I know as a person begins to understand the word of God, as you spend time in it, it definitely brings light into the dark places in our lives. Those dark areas that God is wanting us to work on and get rid of, uh, God's word brings light into those dark places. Uh, and most importantly, I love this, but it makes us wise. It makes us wide, wise. And then not only does it make us wise and, and bring in light into dark areas, but God's word refreshes our souls. I love that. Um, and we all, we all need times of refreshing. Um, there's a scripture in Psalm 19 verse 7 and it says the law of the Lord is perfect refreshing the soul the statutes of the Lord are trustworthy making wise the simple wow how amazing is that refreshing our soul when we spend time in his word our souls are refreshed God's word also we know deals with us Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 speaks about God's word exposing our innermost thoughts and desires it says, for the word of God is alive and it is powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and our desires. You know what it does? It brings them into line. Our thoughts and our desires, our thoughts and our desires, sorry, it brings into line with God's word. You know, Psalms 119 verse 18, this needs to be our prayer. I have this verse written in the front of my Bible. It says, open my eyes that I can see all the wonderful things in your teachings. That's my desire. Lord, open up my eyes. Open up my spiritual eyes that I can see all all the wonderful things in your word, in your teachings. You know, I pray, my prayer for you today, my prayer for myself today, is that God will give us clear understanding of his word. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 7 says, Consider what I say, and may the Lord give you understanding in all things. That is my prayer for you for today. So be blessed today. Be encouraged today in God's word. As you spend time in his word, I pray that your eyes will be open to all um, and your understanding will be open to all that God has for you in his word today. Be blessed, be encouraged, be motivated, be challenged by God's word and we'll chat again soon. God bless you richly today. God bless. Bye-bye.